speaking. We thank you, Father God, for the goals that are being set, Father God. Let their vision not even be blurry, Father God, while pursuing their goals and moving forward. We thank you even, for, um, even right now for this discussion that we're about to um, proceed with. Do words matter? The words do matter, Lord. So we be careful with how we use our words. So we close this out. We, we end this prayer with the sorry. Um, and we're giving you the honor and the praise. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen
They, they used to say, well, you, you just too poor, poor. And I was like, what are you talking about? You just too poor. We don't want to be, we don't, we don't want to be around you. We can't date you because you, you ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> you got a pretty smile, but you just poor. And I'm like, man. <laughs> you remember that, Paul. I remember it. <laughs> Meaning skinny and just plus poor. <laughs> She be real. And I was like, for real? I'm like, I said, but I'm so nice. Yeah, but I don't mean nothing. You you need wow. some, um, you, you just need something. I don't know what it is. And so I stayed to myself. And people still wanted to be by me. And I didn't get that. But I felt insecure because I always thought, you know, beautiful girls was just girls with long, beautiful hair. And, you know, got, you know. Nice mixed. clothes, nice shoe, mixed girls. Light skin girls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Light and skin. it was really kind of really mm, hard. Light skin girls. <laughs> Literally. But then, I mean, years later, I see them saying, they was like, whoa, you look beautiful. I said, what you talking about? Well, you got meat on you now. No, I'm still poor. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, you know, I was like, oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, thank Those you. Those words, yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Wow. How are your words, Bob yeah. the Boss? Are no. they speaking truth or are they speaking life or what are they speaking these days? Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, words are really serious. Um. It's interesting that all of you went back to your childhood, which uh, is crazy how that molds your presence. Yes. Um, Cause y'all all went back, way back. That's where like it started. Like to school and mm-hmm. where you really start hearing the damaging effects of words. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I guess my words was damaging in my my mom did say some words I can't repeat but you know I told myself I wouldn't do my kids that way and I do it like that anyway <laughs> like, this is terrible. so but um yeah words really could be yeah. they can uh, make you or break you yeah it's it's funny you would think if somebody kicked you down you would really be hurt but you can heal from that um but words is, can almost not be you can't it's hard to come back from them sometimes. It is. So. It can a lot of damage. Yeah. I think that's why they say take a moment. Or I've heard Bentley say you should take a moment mm-hmm. to just think about the action and then come back to the situation. Because you don't want to say something you're going to regret. Right. Because I don't like saying sorry. Yeah. So I'll be trying. See. And I have to learn when, that. when to speak. That, yeah. That's huge for me. Because I grew up in a in an atmosphere where they they didn't have no filters at all mm-hmm. no one so i <laughs> i'm serious no wow. she know a few little bit about some of our my history yeah. um, no filter and it's damaging when yeah. you enter into other people's lives because my husband had to help me with it mm-hmm. um because i i didn't know and he'd be like baby right baby Right. And I you know, I really didn't know that I did something wrong or you know, I I will say the things that people think or everybody thinking it or nobody say it and then it's not always a good time for it, you know. Do we have relatives that just speak their mind? That just say what comes off the cuff. I mean Do y'all relative is? Yeah, my mom used to do that. She was just mm-hmm. blurted out and like Ma, you can say it in a different way. Yeah, you know. I had an auntie like that. Just said whatever came to her mind, no matter how it made you feel, and that affected me. You know, no matter. It's this how I talk. Oh, this how you want to talk. Amen. Well, yeah, how that's talk. how they groom to talk. This how this how I talk. Okay? You're so right. Groom that's how you talk. groom to talk. Cause that's that's where my come from. Then, my my come from my history. Like my memories. Well, then man. I found out from there they was they wasn't groomed. It was self self-talk oh I, okay this is what i this is who i became because i had to learn to be better yeah like I, you know okay but when i had said, to learn I do agree. yeah on Some my way talk. but um i mean i'm talking had sorry. to learn but that's because i was exposed to people who um, had that 
who know about the um, unwritten rules. So when I say unwritten rules, like people don't talk in the elevator, you know, or you know what I'm saying? Etiquette. Like, etiquette. etiquette. Okay. Yeah. Well, see, I feel like I had etiquette. <laughs> that but was your etiquette, you. etiquette, you know? But so, I don't know. Yeah, that's even my auntie. She would just go off to the. I'd be like, why you gotta be going off like that? Because I'm like, no, I see that's not. I, I literally would say, no, that's not the right way to. Do. I mean, they're just. And I think you know, to me, like, something about like with generation to generation, like I groomed, because what I've learned is that my aunties and uh, my cousins was like loud mouth bullies almost. And they just go mm-hmm. and just start fighting and one word or whatever, man. It, and it, it'll last throughout months and years. I don't know. Mine wasn't so much as bullying. It's just I didn't know when was a good time to say it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it. I feel like the stuff that I've said could have been said, but just at a different time <laughs> and in a different situation. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes you say stuff when a person hurting, and that's not really the time to Mm-mm. help them. You know what I mean? In the in the truthful manner. Sometimes you gotta wait and give them a moment. So that that's what I mean. Like, so I wasn't like no bully type person. Right. I'll help anybody. That's not an issue. But learning to help them mentally as well as physically is huge. So when I mean like bully, let me let me clear it up. So. By um, in, with their words, like, like you, you know, because I'm your auntie, you should do X, Y, and Z, and you know that that is not a good thing that they're asking you to do, or it'll be like when it comes down to a guy sitting in a relationship with them, and they like handling them with their words, mm. and that can just shift how that guy or that man or husband may be. And it, it went on for generations. That's why they can't keep a husband or a boyfriend because they use They want to be domineering. Domineering. With their words. But, I, but you know I'm saying? I, 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 mine was different. It wasn't the bullying. It, it, it's, it's different. Like, because I'm... It's generally me trying to genuinely help somebody. But when I use my words, it, it they it's received differently from how it was going in my mind Mm -hmm. so you know what i'm saying like so learning how to use words in a way that they the person you're speaking to understands where you coming Mm -hmm. from i've had people like you what you i'm getting what you're saying that even when i chose my words when i found out later on they don't like you they're not going to receive the words whether you come in love come in peace they, if their mind is already made up, they're not receiving any words mm-hmm. that you even put out to even, you know, to say here. You know, I'm trying to make peace because their mind is made up about you already. I'm mm-hmm. perceived about you, so it's just what you know. So it to them, well, it's how she said it. What you mean? I, I came in peace. I I, I bring it down. You know. <laughs> but that has something to do with them. My point. They just issues. how I was sharing about with y'all earlier. Mm-hmm. How I was tested over just a couple of days ago. It didn't. It didn't matter, you know. But I knew at that particular moment, I didn't want to go there. But so see, you've grown and they haven't. So I just chose that day to be nonverbal. I spoke a little. I spoke <laughs> enough to where they they got to know. They got she, she and he. They were fully aware, <laughs> you know. And like I had told my husband, enough is enough, you know. How long do you want me to sit and play this game and run around the blueberry bush and play this You're game? The I'm grown. My mother didn't do me like this. I don't like your mama do me this way either. You know, it's what it is now. You know, have my words come off. Guess what? You kept poking at this. So now you woke it up. So here it is now. Now, now look at it. Yeah, now look at me. Cause you woke it up. It was doing just fine. It was being mild mannered. It, it, it was respecting you, but you played with it. Mm. So I keep, keep saying in this season. Mm. <laughs> I know that you like, hey. Don't, don't push me. I just might be close to the edge. That's it. That's it. So, yeah, words. So, have you ladies ever had someone come to you and say, look, your words hurt me? And how do you even correct it? I've heard yeah. you. you know, I've had. Yeah, yeah, I have. 
and I've been told, and it's crazy because yeah. I, I, I remember one situation where I told the young lady, uh, well, when I said it, I meant it, just how <laughs> I said it. No, but seriously, but with me being more mature now, mm-hmm. I would have did it different. You know what I mean? But at that time, I meant what I said. I was serious about it. That's it. You know, and because I don't want to lie to you. But I hate that it went that way. Right. Now that I'm, I'm, I'm doing better. Like I, you know, I'm learning better to do things differently. You know what I'm saying? Because beastie and all that ain't always the answer. Right. You know. Um. So I mean, but I have had situations where I have people too. come and tell me, and then it's crazy because they tell me after a year, and then you I'm like, dang, you I didn't yeah. even mean it that way. So then you're trying to explain it, but we don't waste it a whole year because you didn't tell right. me. I didn't know. Well, they didn't know how to approach you because they didn't know if you the words was going to come again. I know, but if you want me, because I know I had this problem, and I tell people I had this problem. So you got to tell me if I hurt your feelings because I, I, I'll keep doing it because I don't know that I'm doing, you don't know it. doing it. And that's, that's so true. People don't know that the words that are being said is being hurtful until... You know, you say it hurts, or how right. you said it, or what, you know, yeah. how can I better assist you, or how can I, like, better, or whatever may have you, because they don't know how to communicate that. Yeah, I've been told with my delivery. <laughs> I'm like, well, how do I deliver it? What you mean? If I'm at a table and I'm at a meeting or something going on, and if I already walk in I, and I already feel the energy, you already, already on one, no matter how I come out, how I deliver it, you are already there. <laughs> For, for real, and I'm and my thing is, I didn't mean it that way, but this this is what I meant though. You know, I will try to bring it back and say I didn't mean it this way, but it's what this is what's going on. Even in my own household, I make up and say, hey, how did I did, did was you no know, did I offend you? Was I wrong? I'm, I'm sorry. How did I say it? So I can correct myself because I don't want to offend no one because I don't want it you know yeah. done to me. So I, I try to you know go back and. Now, one thing I've been noticing with myself is that I can see sometimes if it keep going, that it, it's going in a direction that I didn't want it to go. <laughs> and I'll be like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm going to stop this because this, yeah. this ain't really going. Yeah. Like, get it played through yeah. my mind this way. And I just, it's done took a turn. Mm, that on way. The, right. Like, wh- right. Why is it going left? Yeah. I swear my heart was so genuine. My mind, my thoughts, I thought the words came out. But then some people are so used to me being a certain way that they can't let they that are, go. They already like this. They can't let that go. So any little thing I say, so that's they why like I, this. it make me they like close. This. Already close, like this. Yeah. You know, I, you know, it made me close myself out because I... I ain't out here trying to hurt nobody, cause that ain't my goal. But if you if you don't see my growth, I can't. I don't know how to give it to you. you know I asked somebody how they were doing, and they said that wasn't my business. <laughs> so what? 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 <laughs> I said, how you doing? That's not your business. I'm like, okay. I didn't say okay. I, I <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Keep it in 100. Keep it in 100. That's it. So, uh, I just said, how you doing? I was, that tone, how you doing? That's not your business. (laughs) Whoop. There it is. Yeah. You see? And then, you know, the word that was the case. I deal with a lot of stuff where, you know, needy people will tell me a lot of stuff too. But they don't mind hearing that boo when they need some. Yeah. You know, but when tax time come around, I'm the bad guy. You trying to figure it out. Like, what's really going on? Oh, my goodness. Ah, man. <laughs> so I'm hearing. Uh-huh. There's instances where we have to cut people down. <laughs> and I'm hearing there's instances where you don't want to be in the in a space where you're hurting people. So we're choosing our words correctly. Mm-hmm. We're aware of what we're saying. Our environment. We're aware of our you know surroundings, our environment. So our solution. <laughs> Come on, Corp. Straight us out. I'm the corporate type. <laughs> We're not corporate. So the solution really is to just be mindful of, the, of your audience. 
Like I'm oh. very mindful of my audience. Mm -hmm. When I'm with my girls and we just, you know, going back and forth and it's in a playful manner, then words don't hurt because we're all in agreement that it's playful. But know. we in a in a manner or in a situation where I didn't came to Barb and I didn't said something that that didn't hit that then I might have to choose my words, right? Or if I talk to this one who got the dupes up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Corporate I might not say hello. <laughs> you have to say good afternoon. 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 I don't like that. You know what oh, I mean? Ooh, I had a oh, co-worker like that. Oh, spirit, I loved her. spirit killers. Man. But it didn't stop my joy. Good. You mean it didn't corrupt my space. And that's what I learned is that Man, you, I fought, don't, you fought for that joy, didn't you? I keep my joy and that's my right. peace. I don't give nobody my peace. <laughs> Look at that. Now you saw her face. Now y'all saw her face. We done started oh, the fight. Yeah, she said, I fought for this. I fought, no, I don't mm. give nobody my peace. You said I don't give it. them. I don't give them my joy. Now I might give them some love, but if they don't want it, all right, mm -hmm. I'm gonna still love you from a distance. Is you serving notice? Yes. 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 To, to smooth them over, you know, I, I'll just understand or learn what they like or what they like to do. And like, uh -huh. like I had a teacher I used to work with, I would go to her favorite coffee shop and bring her coffee or whatever, make, you know, makes her happy. And it actually brought her a little bit more joy because she oh. was just, I mean, a real cranker, spitting out, I mean, deathly words just, to yeah. the... I mean, I was like, what in the world? I said, you know what? This is good. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Let me, let me, you know, love on you. That ain't considered no, but it's enough. I don't know mm -hmm. if that was it. That's, that's not, because it's a, no. I'm going to tell you something. It's, you a, it's a, a way someone. of serving, okay. servantry. Not okay. saying that, oh, you got to kiss. No, it's nothing like that. It's like, here you go. Now, who, wait, who, who did you say? This is a co-worker? What, who, who was this? It was some, some um, it was a, a place that I was doing my uh, service at. Oh, okay. And so okay. I said, this is something that I okay. do because when I see somebody is stressed or having a rough day, I bring them something that makes them smile. Love Look at that Christ-like spirit. Love that. bug. Mm -hmm. Told y'all. Mm -hmm. You just have to do something because you, you got to plant some seed. Even though when yeah. the seed was bad, you know, you can turn that bad seed around. That's yeah. good. It so, good. words and um actions. She said servitude. Serve, serve to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do because I believe that it is more of cause love is a you know in action. You know you do whatever have old words and just keep speaking life. So mm -hmm. turn that negative word to something positive. Uh, do yes. words matter or words hurt? Yeah. Because they hurt in some situations, and you know, are we becoming a sensitive society? It is. That's a question. Because sticks and stones may break, may break our bones, and words do hurt.